Well, they came, they saw, and they conquered, didn't they, Steve? Mm, certainly did. Liverpool masterminded one of the most stunning comebacks in Champions League history. And they did it in style, knocking Spanish giants Barcelona out of the competition. And Liverpool came from three goals down after the first leg of their semi-final to clinch a 4-3 aggregate victory to reach the final. Fourteen years after the miracle of Istanbul, Liverpool pulled off another miracle, this time at home at Anfield. No Mohamed Salah, no Roberto Firmino, no problem. Well, last season's losing finalists got off to a great start. Belgium's Divock Orizi opening the accounts after seven minutes. Infielder Jorginho Wijnaldum then came off the bench in the second half to score two quick fire goals in just 122 seconds, leveling the tie at three goals apiece. But the night belonged to Orizi, who slammed the decisive goal 11 minutes from time to send the home crowd going wild. Yes, with the victory, Liverpool are through to the second consecutive Champions League final. Later tonight, the Reds will find out if they face Ajax or Tottenham in that final. It'll take place on the 1st of June in the Spanish capital of Madrid. Because they are really mentality giants, it's unbelievable. That's after the season we played, the games we had, the injuries we have now in this moment. I'd, if you go out there um, and ask who, who bet the penny on us, I don't think you find you find a lot of people. So and and then going out there and putting a performance like this on the pitch is is unbelievable. I'm I'm, I'm really proud uh, to be the the manager of this of this team. It's unbelievable. But what they did tonight is so special. And um, yeah, I will rem remember it forever. One hundred percent. It wasn't going to be easy. We didn't have any guarantees. We had to be very brave, take a lot of risks. Uh, and in the end, uh, winning 4-0 is something that you still have to digest. But what we do realize is that it was a special night and that we're going to the final. If you're not a Liverpool fan, then just brace yourself because there's a lot of gushing coming your way. Uh, let's start with the club themselves. Their official Twitter account was in an all-caps mood. And what a special night it was for the two pictured stars, substitute Wijnaldum. And local boy Trent Alexander-Arnold's quick corner supplied the assist for the winner. Now this result transcended football too. Basketball star LeBron James shared this tweet. He's not just a fan, but he has a financial stake in the club as well. So be particularly concerned about that one. So perhaps no wonder he's happy. That's right. Back to the football world, though, and former Liverpool uh, a great and now pundit to Jamie Carragher. He called it the greatest night ever at Anfield. And that was something that former England and Barcelona player Gary Lineker agreed with. He called it an astonishing performance and an absolute delight, adding it was a, one of the greatest nights in the history of European football. Took his mind off Brexit for a while. But the <laughs> players themselves also took to social media to bask in the victory. Two goal hero Wijnaldum said, words just can't describe the feeling. Yeah, he paid tribute to the fans at Anfield as well for never giving up. And perhaps that never give up attitude was best shown by the club's uh, top scorer, Mohamed Salah. Injured and unable to play, he showed what he thought of the challenge of overcoming the 3-0 deficit from the first leg, having complete faith in his team.